I wanted to set the record straight. Uh, the Terrence County District Attorney was very um, disingenuous <coughs> with his commentary regarding this case. The Second Court of Appeals returned oh, Crystal's conviction and uh, remanded it oh, down and stated that the evidence was insufficient to support a finding of guilt. I understand he does not like the decision. I get it because his predecessor, who originally prosecuted Crystal, specifically stated in his summation of Crystal's criminal case that he wanted the judge to send a message to Tarrant County voters. And the current district attorney is doubling down on sending that message. He is being dishonest with Tarrant County taxpayers. Um, obviously, today we heard very distraught, very distraught um, citizens of Tarrant County who have had loved ones die in the custody of Tarrant County officials. We have heard members of the community outraged about lack of mental health resources here in Tarrant County. Tarrant County money should be better spent than pushing a political narrative. That is what the Tarrant County District Attorney is doing in continuing to persecute, not prosecute, to persecute Ms. Mason. In their original trial, they stated they wanted to send a message, and he doubled down on it in his announcement that they were appealing this decision. Once again, he referenced sending a message. This is a political narrative that should not be funded by Tarrant County taxpayers. I'm frustrated, I'm mad, I'm upset. I'm upset on the things that I heard the DA say. Um, and like he said, he's only been here for a year and a half, so what is his motive to continue this case if he wasn't here from the beginning? And that's one thing, to send a message to scare voters from the poll. And that's exactly what he's doing by continuing to try to prosecute this case. I filled out a provisional ballot, a provisional ballot that was never counted. I went to the same polling place that I went to in 2006 and 12. I went to the same polling place. I've been in my house since 08. Where is my intention to commit a crime? When you're on supervisor, or when you're on probation, parole, whatever, you have terms and conditions. Nowhere on my terms and conditions told me I was ineligible to vote. Who goes and commit a crime? And, and intentionally want to go to jail when you just got out rehabilitating yourself back into this world. This is overwhelming, this is sickening, and I'm so glad that I have the community here supporting this and seeing this. And that's where I'm at, I really don't want to answer no more questions. I'm frustrated and I'm just overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Oh.